CDC reported HIV and AIDS as the leading cause of death for African-American women ages 25 to 34. If HIV AIDS were the leading cause of death of white women between the ages of 25 and 34, there would be an outraged outcry in this country. Although HIV has now fallen from number one and is behind heart disease, cancer and homicide cases, a number of factors still place black women as number one among American females, representing around 65% of all new HIV diagnoses. One of those factors may be black men who are formerly incarcerated. A study conducted by professors Rucker Johnson and Stephen Raphael of the University of California, Berkeley, determined that from 1970 to 2000, incarceration rates rose for black men to roughly six times the rate of non-Hispanic white men. During the same period, the HIV and AIDS infection rate for black women rose to 19 times the rate of white women. Many researchers have echoed this sentiment, citing incarceration as a risk factor for HIV infection because of the reasons that include a higher prevalence of HIV among prison populations, higher than average rates of sexual assault, forced sex among men in prison, limited access to condoms, injectable drugs and tattooing, and newly released inmates often have inadequate access to health care and treatment because of unemployment and poverty. In addition, according to a study conducted by the National Library of Medicine, high incarceration rates substantially reduce the number of men in black communities and damage social relationships, which may increase the number of sexual partners among men. Overall, these facts suggest that an important contributor to the HIV crisis among black women may be in fact an unrelenting prison boom marked by stark racial disparities.